Let's see if we've got a present there. There's a box! This came today, and yes, I am old, but at the same time, I still get excited about things like this. So, we have weapon, and we're going to do a straightforward unboxing of the new Schubert C5. Tried it on in the shop, shameless plug. Uh, haven't ridden them on, um, never had one before. Um, the C3 Pro was obviously really uh, popular, and the C4 kind of was a bit of a letdown. Reading up on this, apparently it's going to be really good. The Rue Rock, which you saw earlier, has a purpose for this video because I'm going to do a comparison on the noise on those two helmets later on. So I did the unboxing of the Rue Rock. I'm going to do a um, living with it test because I've used it quite a lot. And then I'm going to do a road test of this. But first, the unboxing. And I have no idea what this is going to be like because as you can see, it is completely sealed. Hoping it's okay because the delivery people don't understand the words this way up they think it means this way to the right side you may have saw earlier on we will see okay here we go so actual lid is in a much smaller box who plays past the parcel alrighty so first of all you've just got a standard sugar box fairly straightforward um, with the carry handle and opens this way. Various warning messages which no one reads. Don't crash, don't die, yada yada yada, it's very good. Day. Okay, in the box you have, in a carry bag of sorts, a lid. This is where we find out they sent me a pink one. Okay, so nothing else in the box at this stage. We have got, I'm going to put that down before I drop it, and it's a very expensive mistake. So I have the, a manual of sorts, quick start guide um, with the SC2. I have bought the SC2, it should be in this box, I'm hoping it is. And um, you've got a quick start guide as well, but realistically it's a lid. So you put it on and you try not to die. So we'll put this on the floor. And now onto the main event, we look at the helmet. So what have we got? I'm going to sit down. Oh, it's been a long day. So we have a interesting design on the uh, on the bag. Anyone remember the Krypton Factor? This is what this is like. So we'll just skip that and look to see how we get the thing open. Okay, so from this end, open them up. This is such a bizarre design. Okay, what do we got? So I've gone for the matte black. There are various color options available for this one. Um, matte black is uh, I think my preference, I mean, realistically, you've got the graphics ones, which are another 100 quid. What's the point, realistically? Just, just you know, you don't see it half the time anyway, do you? From someone who bought a Rurock. Um, okay, so first impressions, um, it's a little bit heavier than the Rurock that I'm used to, but it's not particularly heavy. It doesn't feel as such. I'll try it on the head in a minute, but we'll just have a look through some of the points of this. So, um, it's a very clean looking lid all the way around. Um, I do like the shoe berth on the side. They did mention this in some of these review videos I've seen. That's a nice feature. On the back, we've got the, uh, the C5 logo there. And uh, these panels are for the, um, for the audio, um, which I will install later. Got the size here. I've gone for the medium. It's saying it's 1,640 grams. Uh, then we've got the um, push pull for the uh, sun, sun visor which is here, can't really see it with the uh, plastic on, which I'm not going to take this off yet because if it doesn't fit me, uh, I need to be able to take it back. So um, then we've got some of these vents here. Overall, I think it's, a, it's so far it's a clean looking lid. I mean, we'll do the try on test now, obviously. What I am interested to see is they pushed this um, uh, the chin strap forward in this design and uh, I'm interested to see how that works with my majestic beard. The padding on this one side is actually not uh, <laughs> not attached uh, which is interesting so I guess we're gonna have to try and fit that in 
So that padding holds this um, this system they've got now. I can't remember what they call it, something like an AROS or something like that. Basically, what this does is it makes sure it's on your head um, when you've got the visor open at the front, which means that you can actually use this lid as a um, as a road legal lid with the front up. Uh, so you can see from the bottom here, it's got quite a nice neck roll, quite tight, which is part of the USP of this um, particular design. Obviously, this has got the um, known for the uh, uh, quietness, so we'll be doing a test on that. I shall sit down, put it on my head. I don't need to take my glasses off for this either because it opens up. Put the sunglasses up, yes, and put it on as is. Okay. So, I need to adjust the trim strap, which I'm not going to do now to bore you. Okay, so initial impressions, very comfortable, very, very nice lid. It's a good, it feels like a good fit for me. Actually, a bit, bit of a better fit, I think, than maybe it was in the, in the, in the shop. It's going to need to be a bit tight. The large was a little bit too big for me. Um, so it's going to need to be a bit tighter so that it'll bed in because um, obviously the cheek pads will bed in. Yeah. So, so far it's a good fitting lid. Um, this has a design which I'm going to test now for the first time where if you put this um, uh, the visor down to a certain length and then you put the front section up onto your head Although it touches here, when you put it back down, it should remember. Let's test that again. User error, quite possibly. Yeah, there we go. So that works. That's a cool feature. It takes off now. There we go. So yes, this one does have the... Um, one of the ratchet straps on here which is you know good for some not for others some people prefer the double d ring personally for me i, I prefer this i just it's less of a faff um, when you want to get it on and off quickly if you're doing a commute i can't be bothered to be doing buckles all the time um so this is my preference i do prefer it um i will just check to see if i've got this sc2 lost it's in the box i do sc2 do that at the same time if you're interested in the SC, sc2 thank you for your time turn off now you are so it's a very small package it has a very small uh, bit of rubber here so a uh, bit of uh, sticky thing so we open that it's a very small unit is first impression so let's open the camera hopefully you can see this so this is the uh, the battery pack which goes in the back um, I was told this was very fiddly um, we can have a look at these covers. Okay, yeah, fine. I could wire this up now, couldn't I, really? Um, and then we've got the, um, the little side, side control unit as well. What I'll do, I'll do a separate video on this because I feel like I could spend a lot of time uh, potentially breaking it. Um, so I'll do a separate, uh, or a separate section. Maybe I'll do a separate section. What do you think? Let's do a separate section. Okay, what have we got? We've got a um, we've got a USB-C charging cable here. Uh, good. We've got a uh, a button battery, which presumably goes in this control unit here. Hence this little tab. I presume it's got one fitted already, and then this is a spare. Helpful, because uh, I mean, where the hell do you get those nowadays? Um, we've got some microphone boom covers, two of in case one blows away. And then you've got the microphone itself, which does look like a fairly premium bit of kit. And I'll just put these up to the camera as well. So you've got the um, uh, the battery pack here, which goes in the back with these two uh, antenna connectors, uh, and then we've got the um, the side the side fitting here. Where are the speakers, Joe? I hear you ask. Well, the speakers for these helmet, I may have said, are already in the lid. Um, so it is fitted. So when you look at the the, um, the weight of this helmet, it's a little bit more uh, heavy than the Shui, which is the equivalent. However, this has got the uh, speakers built in. The other one doesn't. So this is part of the lid. 
but then you have to spend almost 300 quid to get this so yes they give you the speakers for free but realistically um, if you want to use them you have to buy the unit and the unit is bloody expensive quick start guide as well for this um, again as a bloke I probably won't read it I will see how I get on shout at it for 20 minutes and then if I need help I will then consult it so um, that's everything for this video I believe oh what's this a fake check off of wine Thank you all for watching and um, the next video will be, as I say, some of these comparisons and then a living with it test. I will also have a ride out in this for you and I'll be able to do a better comparison.